I just wanted to say really briefly uh, before we get started, actually, what do you guys think of this camera setup? So I don't know if I had mentioned it to you, but I changed my camera setup. So I was using my Nikon D3400 for pretty much you know every other video that I've shot except for maybe the last two. Um, now I am using um, a Sony FDR X3000 action camera. It's a 4K action camera. It has optical image stabilization, so when it gets moved around, um, it tries to stabilize uh, the best it can. It's not electronic image stabilization, which is actually you know less optimal. Um, this one, you know, optical image stabilization, it actually is is uh, movement in the lenses that it's using. Uh, for the stabilization. So it's supposed to be much, much smoother than most electronic image stabilization. And the other good thing about that is it doesn't crop your image. On top of that, I'm using a little bit of a hand carry rig here with it. Um, I have a Comica, basically the same thing as the uh, the Rode Micro microphone. I mean, it's it looks exactly the same, just about. It's the same uh, style of microphone. Uh, when I went to the track, this footage, that footage was actually shot on this camera as well. And that day it was super windy and I had the dead cat that comes with this uh, microphone. I had that on there and I mean you couldn't hear a lick of wind noise really in that footage. So I think it did really well. But overall, just let me know down in the comment section, uh, what do you guys think about the quality of the camera and what do you guys think about the quality of the audio as well? What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, <laughs> I'm still alive. I know it's been a minute. Um, the weather in the past week or so hadn't been that great, so I hadn't really gotten a whole lot of things done. Um, it's really starting to warm up now. Not really stabilized like warming weather yet, but we had a pretty good uh, past few days here. It's been like in the 70s and uh, the 80s actually. Um, the last couple of days were in the 80s, so it made for some really nice weather. So uh, what I did was I went to Cars and Coffee on Saturday morning, and I got a bunch of footage from the Cars and Coffee that I'm going to play for you guys in this video, um, do a little edit. Um, also, I did a couple things to the Mini. Uh, didn't film them, though, because of the weather, and my garage was really messy, so I had to do... Uh, basically just quick installs and uh, didn't really feel like trying to set up the camera and everything at the same time. Nothing huge. Um, I put it in a JCW strut bar. So I'm going to show that to you in a picture. And then also I went ahead and I uh, Plasti dipped my wheels in their newest color uh, which is Brass Monkey, and I bought the wheel kit from them. It's super cheap. Um, it actually came out really good. I'll post some pictures here as well. You'll also see my car in the video. You'll see the wheels a little bit. If I didn't mention this in the last video, because I can't really remember off the top of my head, the car is on Votlin Lowering Springs now. So when I took the car back to Procom here recently, they did the lowering springs, they put on my summer tires, and did an alignment. And that's when we had the dyno redone uh, before I figured out that there was an issue with that wastegate being a little too tight. So also, we're going to get the car back on the dyno at some point here soon. Um, and see you know what the numbers really should have looked like and if it's not the numbers that changed too much it should be at least how that power curve comes on and uh you know how it carries itself through uh the top end so stay tuned and i hope you guys enjoy this footage the slow cars have arrived all day all day man Useless grandpa's stop. wagon Useless stop. 